Konnichiwa! Alistair Overham Des, UFC Des, Tokyo Des, Japan Des. I've had such great memories in Japan, so many great fights. I beat Vitor Belfort in the Pride Light Heavyweight Grand Prix. I submitted him in, I believe, 9 minutes and 20 seconds of the first round. It was the end of the first round, because the rounds back then were 10 minutes. Real good kill, and he taps out! Vitor Belfort is forced to tap out in the first round, Alistair Overeem! That was basically the first big name, the first legend that I beat. I was so excited, I couldn't sleep for days. Well, one of the other big names uh, that I beat in Japan was Igor Vovchenchin, a maniac. I grew up, I was watching these guys slaughter their opponents in, uh, in the octagon, and uh, I submitted him with the same guillotine choke in the first round. The Dream Heavyweight Championships, which I won December 31st, 2010 against Todd Duffy. But also in this arena, I fought and defeated Badahari. So to me, it's very special to be back here, to walk around, to see the vibe. Usually, when it's uh, fight night, there's a lot of fans and it's very crazy. And, you know, of course, me myself, I'm very focused on the fight and I'm not really occupied with all the details that are around the stadium. But now walking around here, it's very relaxed, it's very soothing, and uh, to me it's special to be back here. Back here in a different time, in a different energy. Central train station, which has been built by, yes, the Dutch. The Dutch built this right here. <laughs> oh, 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 Overeem is an absolute legend in the sport. Him and his brother made a lot for uh, for the sport in Japan. How much times have you been to Japan? Over 70 times. I think like 74, 75 times. And with those 74, 19 75? years ago was my first trip here. Um, love it here. Love the customs, love the country, love the people. Great energy, great atmosphere. We're very uh, polite, very mannered people. Great food. Okay, from novice to professional, what do you consider yourself in the chopstick realm? I'm, uh, I give myself a nine plus. Thirty seconds. I want to see how much marshmallows you can transfer from one bowl to the other. You ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New record. New record. New record. Nice. I said yes. Yeah. Boom. Very Give good. me my time, damn it. 21 seconds. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Awesome. That's a record, I'm sure. Rice beans and popcorn. Fighters does this like me. No, you did not. Did not. 
You go to Airbase is home to about 11,000 uh, Americans. We are on the western edge of the Tokyo metropolitan area, the largest metropolitan area in the world. There are about 35 plus million people live in the region. Our primary mission here is mobility. We are responsible for the Western Pacific's uh, mobility hub, meaning we project all sorts of airlift and power uh, throughout the Indo-Asia Pacific region. Weigh ins tonight, you guys get to eat uh, well, tomorrow, is that right? We're not, we are not fighting. Oh, you're not fighting? I think she's fighting. She's fighting? She's fighting okay. with the first and oh. the second. <laughs> Could you put Josh, my husband, he loves you? I gotta get at your fist next to mine because that shit's crazy. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I play your dad. Yeah. 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 Got two girls. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Well, I hear about the, the guys only have girls. You know, the big man's in. <laughs> You know, I fought two organizations here, the uh, ones they call Rings, King of Kings, and the other one that called Pride. We used to fight for a lot of people, you know, big stages in Japan, Saitama Arena, Tokyo Dome, National Stage of Tokyo. You know, I love this country, you know, the culture here is amazing. And uh, yeah, I've been here quite a lot. I've been here in Japan for like eight years, like, you know, live here between here and Brazil and the US. And uh, yeah, I love to be back. I love to be back in UFC Japan. You know, it was a great opportunity to be in touch with the Japanese fans. And today we'll be blessed, you know, we came here to the, you know, uh, to the base of uh, the Light Warriors, you know, the guys. On the military, being fighting for war, you know, being fighting for us. Behind me, you see a bunch of our uh, UFC fighters and our airmen who've come out to uh, get a grab, get a piece of Americana that they miss. So we're out here 12 hours away or so uh, from everything that we love uh, of America and all the people that we love. It's great when America comes to visit us. There's a common bond between the UFC fighters and the Army, Air Force. Navy Marines and the response is so good and makes the fighters feel great the soldiers feel great and like I said anytime we get a chance to do this we do it because we actually enjoy it these are the true warriors in the world these are the guys that actually fight for our freedom I have to thank you you destroyed Brock Lesnar It was the most glorious moment. <laughs> I loved it. Poor Brock, he had, no, he had no idea what to do. It was great. And maybe, you know, if he's going to come back again, I could see that rematch happen. I would, I would love to see that. Because oh. uh, he can come back next year in 2018. Right, I don't suspension know if he will be up, right? will, but That would be fantastic. What, what I tell everybody, I use that fight as an example. <laughs> this is actually a heads-up display right here. Where, uh, you can look right through this, and this will give you a lot of your, uh, your navigation information yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. I took five lessons. Did you? I'm not licensed, but I'm still working on that. But, uh... okay, so... okay, you first. Hey, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. All these guys, fucking great fighters. And I'm glad they actually spent the time to come out here and you know, kind of appreciate what we do too. So. Shit! 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 <laughs> guys, guys, I just called the office. I got 50 tickets. You may see! So we're going to give our squadron scarves uh, and then we're gonna also going to give a squadron coin to all the fighters and to Miss Red. It's just a thank you for them coming out here to see us and 
just a nice way for us to say thank you back to them. We're very, very thankful to have you guys here. to be more UFC events and Alistair Overham needs to be on the fight card in Japan. I don't understand the, the decision of UFC to not have me fight in Japan because they, they, they usually want me to fight either in Vegas or in, in, over in the uh, US but um, I'm very famous in Japan and I like Japan so I don't understand. Saki is a very intelligent fighter. Saki um, at the time of the K1 was very, very ahead of the game with a lot of technical aspects. I would say that um, he is uh, the most technical K1 heavyweight and light heavyweight, for that matter. Uh, his speed, his, his, his combinations, he's actually a light heavyweight, but he was fighting heavyweight, he was fighting the big guys. So um, I have full confidence in, in him and his team that he will do great in analyzing the game and analyzing what he needs to get the victory to set it. But it's it's a fair beating though, no? it's like a fair win. We're back in the Saitama Super Arena, I'm very excited to be here. I mean we have so many memories, histories here. Um, I mean, I can go back to, uh, I think my first fight, 2002, was my second Pride fight. I fought Mike Benchic here. Um, I fought Chuck Liddell here. That was a huge audience, 88,000 people, actually my biggest audience ever. I fought um, Shogun here in the Pride Light Heavyweight Grand Prix. And that same card was um, Fedor Melianenko versus uh, Krokop. But to me, it's a little bit nostalgic. Uh, Saki being an old teammate of mine, I mean, we trained together several years. We, we, we fought in 2010, and then we both parted ways. Um, yeah, we were not trained together. I left Team Golden Glory a little bit sooner, and he left, left, left later. But I uh, always kept an okay relationship. Um, I'm very, very uh, happy he's back in, the, in, in action. I feel so important. I feel so important right now. Thank you. Thank it's you. going to be hard for him. It's going to be difficult. This is a whole new sport, a whole new challenge. I know this first time because I have done the two sports, uh, but I did it the other way around, and I think that's a little bit more easy. If you're going into kickboxing, you don't have to grapple. You don't have to worry about submissions. You don't have to worry about the takedown. He now has to worry about all those things. In the striking department, I don't expect any problems with Saki, but in the wrestling and the grappling department. He's fighting a Brazilian in this fight, Henrique da Silva. Undoubtedly, he will have um, good grappling. 
I believe his takedowns is not that good, so that can be the weakness. Because of course, if you want to use your grappling, you're gonna have to force a takedown on your opponent. So it's an interesting matchup. Of course, for Saki, his first time in UFC in MMA, so it's a, yeah, it's an exciting fight. I'm, I'm sure. Good fight. Uh, of course, he prepared well, but as always, uh, you have to do it, you know. So uh, he had a layoff two and a half years. Trained a lot of grappling, a lot of wrestling, takedown defenses. But you saw uh, he got a little bit tired in the first round. But then, you know, he, his character pulled him through it, and he he did what he's known for and knocked the guy out. Hey, I'm a big fan. Can I can I take yes. can I take a picture? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good, huh? I like your knees. That's that's the long thing for me. So right now we are in Tokyo, in the outskirts of Tokyo, and we're gonna go visit um, a former foe, who is now a friend, Mitsu Kanahara, and he has been uh, taken in the hospital for back problems apparently. I don't know exactly what he's got. Uh, do you speak English? Hiro Mitsu Kanahara. Hiro Mitsu Kanahara. This is a fighter who um, I fought back in 2004 in Pride. My brother fought with him twice. Yeah, just uh, just gonna um, look out for him. See see how he's doing. Kanehara, special to meet you. Oh, thank you. Good. That's a long time ago. Two thousand four, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah October yeah, two thousand four. Yeah. First time I met you, eighteen. Yeah, it was eighteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, thirty. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Wow. <laughs> So, uh, it's like 20 years, it's 20 years ago. Yesterday was UFC, Saki, Gokon Saki fight. Saki, ah, do Yeah, that actually right. was a good fight. Did he win? He win. Ah, oh, okay. I, I can show you, I can show you. It's actually a good fight. Right? He's a kickboxer, right? Yes, oh, but now right. MMA. Oh, now right. UFC. Oh, good fight. I'm fighting your brother, man. One time, uh, he knocked out me, second time I knocked out him. <laughs> I remember that. My yeah. mother, uh, my mother watched one fight live. In one Hoki fight Ura. in Holland. Oh. One time. Coffee, cigarettes, coffee. Yeah. Very nervous. Yeah. Very nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And then she sees this, yeah. never again see him. Uh, fight. One time. <laughs> no, no, no. But you knocked out me. <laughs> uh, hands, then the knees. Hey, about, oh, down the knee knee actually knee was way to the sort of back. Knee. Nice to the hands. Oh, oh look at that cut. This fight's going to be stopped, boss. That is the knee. See, that was the knee that made the cut. His knees are uh, easy to my face. <laughs> Your neck logo is very good. Man. Guilty. Yeah, but guilty. You scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were scared. Yeah, yeah. You remember? Ah, uh, escape, 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 I did. <laughs> this is how he won his last fight. That's Hold right. on. He beat Rodney Faveris in 90 oh, seconds. Oh, slips out. Joke to become the get up to handle light heavyweight world champion. Offland Brazza, the guillotine, very light. Yeah, it's yes. good. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it, man. Yeah, yeah it's a good, really good fight. Yeah. Good fight. Good fight. <laughs> 